teenagers in the East Midlands are celebrating record GCSE results. But the gender achievement gap is widening, with girls doing far better than boys. 8% of all the A-star grades in the country went to students in the East Midlands, compared with 90% in the South East. Mm, but the debate continues over whether some subjects taught at GCSE are more worthwhile than others. Our education correspondent Peter Bean has this report. The day of reckoning for year 11s at Chinogli City Academy in Nottingham. Tell us how many GCSEs you've got. 18 and a half GCSEs. 18 and a half. That's a lot. Yeah. Nationally, the GCSE pass rate is up for the 23rd year running. And it's girls with most to smile about. More than one in four got an A or A star. With boys, it was less than one in five. Our E's and F's and all that. One D. We're, we're hoping for better. I was hoping for better, but saying we're nice to get it. It is something we are concerned about, and that's why we want to look right back to primary school, where the gap seems to start, and, and particularly look at the way reading is taught. Behind today's results lies a decline in pupils studying languages and humanities. The government wants more focus on the core academic subjects, like those which make up the new English baccalaureate. Here at Genogli, they teach everything from history to hairdressing, from maths to media studies. Is a GCSE in hairdressing worth as much as a GCSE in history, say? I think they are worth as much. I think actually what's really important to us at Genogli is actually having courses that students are interested in, meet their needs and actually meet their aspirations for what they want to do in the future. Whatever they studied, today's 16-year-olds face tough challenges ahead. The Education Maintenance Allowance payments, which encourage them to stay on in education, have been cut. University tuition fees are going up. And of course, we all know youth unemployment is very high. Stay in education and get as many qualifications as you can because we are in hard times at the moment. But there's no doubt that the best way of shielding yourself from those difficult times is to get the best qualifications you possibly can. For now, though, it's time to celebrate a job well done. Peter Bean in Nottingham for Central Tonight.